Hello, I am Sally Glenn of Save by Grace Ministries. Thank you so much for joining me today. My message this time is the rapture. Who's going? Who's not? Who's going in the rapture? It's a question that has been debated. Indeed, it is quite thought-provoking, especially in light of Matthew chapter 25. I'm referring, of course, to the parable of the ten virgins. Matthew 25. There were ten virgins who took their lamps and went to meet the bridegroom. But only five were wise enough to fill their lamps with oil. They lay down until midnight. When they were roused by the shout, the bridegroom is coming. The five who had many oil begged the others to share. But the others replied, go and buy some for yourselves. But while they were gone, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went in with him, and the door was shut. The other five returned, calling, Sir, open the door for us. But he called back, It is too late. So, be prepared, for you do not know the day of my return. So we have the bridegroom, who stands for Jesus, and ten virgins, five who were ready and five who were not. The five who had the oil, which is a symbol of the Holy Spirit, they went in with the bridegroom while the door was shut on the others. So, the question here is, who is the bride? The five who were ready. The five who had enough oil. There has been much discussion as to whether this parable applies to the rapture or to the second coming. By law of double reference, it can apply to both. The bride, the five with the oil, is most definitely the church. The church will be taken at the pre-tribulation rapture. Let me say here that the church includes all believers in Jesus, be they Jew or Gentile. The five who were left didn't have enough oil. And the oil is a picture of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit comes into your heart and life when you put your faith in Jesus and call upon His name. It is His job to bring us into a personal relationship with Jesus. Now, continuing in the discussion of the parable, Jesus shut the door on the remaining five, and he said to them, I tell you the truth, I don't know you. <gasps> he did not send them into outer darkness 
where there's weeping and gnashing of teeth. These ones still had a chance to come to know him in a personal relationship. Therefore, these five represent those left to enter the tribulation. Those without a personal relationship with Jesus, but they still have the opportunity of coming to know him. The main point of this parable is be sure you are ready. When Jesus comes, and he is, be sure you are right with the Lord. Be sure you're in right relationship with him. It really matters. It really does. It makes the difference between the glory of heaven and the trials of the tribulation. So, Call upon the name of Jesus and don't be left behind. Let's pray. Father God, I thank you for sending Jesus. Lord Jesus, I thank you for coming and taking on my sin and for dying in my place. I put my faith in you now as Savior and Lord. I call upon you. I call upon your name right now. Thank you, Lord, for saving me and help me to be ready when you come. It is in your name I pray. Amen. Please share and like us on Facebook and subscribe to my YouTube channel.